Happening now, opening statements were scheduled for this morning in the trial of former Theranos executive Ramesh Sunny Balwani. But that didn't happen as planned. NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joining us live now from the federal courthouse in San Jose. So, Chris, what happened here? Well, so those opening statements that were scheduled for this morning are now on hold at least until Friday because of a positive, a possible COVID exposure. Uh, Ramesh Sami Balwani did not have anything to say as he arrived at the federal courthouse this morning, ready for his attorneys to defend him against fraud and conspiracy charges against him. But the judge told the jury this morning that the court was exposed to someone who was exposed to someone who was positive for COVID. So kind of a secondary exposure. That person with the potential exposure has since tested negative. However, the judge delayed the trial saying he was following the CDC guidelines out of an abundance of caution. Al Balwani's trial begins two months after his fellow executive and ex-girlfriend Elizabeth Holmes was convicted on four of 11 counts stemming from accusations that she and Balwani misled investors, doctors and patients about their Theranos blood testing technology. Their trials were separated since Holmes's defense was centered on blaming Balwani, saying that he was controlling Holmes through mental and physical abuse, though he has denied those claims. Now, while his defense team may have learned from how her trial played out, so did the government attorneys who will prosecute him. I think what we will see here is um, the, the, the prosecution um, reviewing what it did and trying to make a more direct connection between Sonny and um, statements that were made to doctors and patients so that they have a better chance of gaining a conviction on those counts as well. Our legal analyst says he does not expect Balwani will take the stand in his own defense and thus evidence related to the romantic relationship he had with Elizabeth Holmes is unlikely to come up. Now, while this trial was expected to be shorter than the Elizabeth Holmes trial, the judge short, uh, lengthened the days that the jury was going to sit and uh, removed some of the days off. We're off to a two-day delay, two delay, so we're off to a slow start. In San Jose, Chris Sanchez, NBC Bay Area News.